Are you struggling with time zones in Airtable? In this video, I'm gonna show you exactly what the set time zone function does, what it can't do, and how Airtable dates and times work in general. So in my example base, I have this list of dates right here in the primary column. And if you look in here, we can see that it is a date field type. It's got the include time uh, toggle on and use GMT for all collaborators is off, meaning it's showing my local time. And I'm in New York in the US, so my time zone is Eastern Standard Time. And so let's say I wanna just uh, mirror this exact time in the field next to it. So I'm gonna open this up and I'm going to write formula here and I'll just put date, that's referencing this date field and hit save and it is not showing the same time. Why is that? Well, the reason is because if I go back in here, Airtable automatically defaults a formula field that's outputting date to use the same time zone, GMT for all collaborators, which means that it's outputting the time in GMT. So this is often the solution to many people's problem is just to un untoggle this, hit save, and then you get the same time because it's gonna then convert it back into your local time. But this whole GMT thing is important because GMT is the standard time that Airtable uses behind the scenes to pass around any dates or times um, that it's using throughout the program. But let's say that I actually wanted to view this time in Pacific Standard Time in the US. So that's three hours behind where I am now and how do I get there? If I go back in here, I don't have an option to just toggle to different time zones. Now it's worth mentioning that Airtable has foreshadowed that they're gonna add this feature relatively soon and so I will actually put in the description um, or maybe at a video at the end uh, when that change actually happens so that you can see when that happens but right now what we need to use is the set time zone function so to understand the set time zone function we first have to understand how Airtable passes around dates behind the scenes so if I open up this field here I am going to convert this to a formula and then just like the first one I'm just going to reference the date field here and then I'm just gonna put an ampersand and then some quotations here so that it forces it to just output this as a string of text. So if I hit save, we see this long string of numbers and letters, which is um, the ISO 8601 formatted date time. So that's just the official format that Airtable uses to pass around date times behind the scenes. And this is important to what we're about to do because using the set time zone function only kind of again, gives Airtable the kind of like behind the scenes signal that you wanna set a certain time zone and to actually output it as a date, we actually have to nest it within two other functions. So we're gonna do that right here. So let's convert this to a formula. And so the, the three functions we're gonna to use to make this work are set time zone, date time format, and date time parse. So I'm gonna start from the inside out and the inside is the set time zone. So let's, we're gonna say set time zone. And so the set time zone function takes the date time and then the time zone that you wanna output. So in our case, we are going to reference date, which is this field, and then our new time zone. So I'm gonna say America, Los Angeles. And I will put a link to the list of all the time zones you can use in the video description. So you can look up the time zone that you wanna use here, like I'm using this one. And that is what we need to use set time zone. So then we're gonna wrap that in a date time format function. So I'll start writing that, get our date time format, which takes the date time, which is what we've already created here with the set time zone, and then how we wanna format it. So, put a comma here and then we're gonna format it as month, day, year, hours, minutes, and then A and the A stands for AM or PM. And I will enclose that. And so then the last thing we wanna do is to convert it into an actual date because date time format actually puts out text. So I could actually just save this here since it is putting out text. If I hit save, then I'm going to get this and if I look here, 3 p.m., yeah, that's correct. It's three, uh, three uh, hours behind uh, my time here. But I wanna actually put out a, a date time so it looks, so it's formatted like these ones are. So opening this back up again, I'm gonna use my last function, which is the date time parse. And so date time parse, 
takes the date string, which is what we have here, and then uh, outputs a format. And so for the format, I can just copy this exact format here. So I'll put a comma, use that format, and I wanna hit save, then voila, we've got our date time. Now, one important quirk here is that we actually, the reason why this is working and giving me this Los Angeles time is because in my formatting tab, just like it did the first time, this was toggled. The use the same time zone GMT for all fibers is toggled. And so it's a little hard to follow, but basically this what this is saying in relation to our set time zone function is that this is our starting point. So our starting point was Greenwich Mean Time. And then we wrote this formula, set the time zone to America, Los Angeles. So we need to have this toggled on to, for it to work the way that I just showed you. It's also important to remember that when you use the set time zone function, it only affects the one field where you actually used that function. So setting the time zone here has no effect on this field, on this field, etc. It's just this one. A similar function that might be helpful to you is the set locale function, which actually converts the date time to just appear in your local formatting. So for example, in the UK, the months and the days are switched, it would do that, but they've got a pretty long list of formats here. So actually, depending on where you are in the world, um, there may be a format that, that works for you. And I will also put the link to those formats in the video description. If you wanna keep developing your knowledge about Airtable date functions, I recommend checking out this video on the date time format function. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you next time.